What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today we're going to be going over VChain Thor, specifically VThor. We'll go over VChain a little bit too, but remember it's all the same thing. So yeah, we're going to be going over VChain Thor today. So anyways, hit that like button, subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm and leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the vital algo link in the description and use the discount code Marcellus for 25% off. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. Big shout out to the members of the channel. Big shout out to Alias Drame. I think that's how you say your name. Alias Dream or Alias Drame. Something like that. But big shout out to Alias because they actually requested this. They requested Vitor. So if you actually want to join the memberships channel, definitely join the membership section of the channel. And it's definitely greatly appreciated. And I'll be going over anyone's requests whether it's a scam or not, I'll go over the scams, but I will make sure and mention that they're a scam if I believe it. Like, if you want me to go over Web3 Inu, I'll go over that, but I think Web3 Inu is a scam personally. But this is about VTOR. VTOR is definitely not a scam, but I'm going to go over my honest opinions about what we got going on with VTOR and VChain Thor, all that good stuff. So anyways, definitely shout out to all the members out there. And anyways, let's get started with the video. So the first thing I want to talk about here with VChain is, or VChain Thor, VTOR, all the same thing, right? But first, we're going to be looking at the VTOR price. So looking at the VTOR price, we actually have a chance of reversal here. So we're probably going to see another uptrend coming for VTOR coming up to, and you know, this is short term. So, you know, it doesn't really 100% matter what short term, but you can see here on the oscillator, we came off this huge oversold area on VTOR. So now we're about to go on this bullish area. You can see on the oscillator that there was a lot of selling, but the selling is starting to become less prominent and it's just becoming smaller and smaller. So pretty much what you're about to see next for VTOR is an uptrend. So we're probably going to have this chance for reversal, bringing us back up here to this level of 3175. So remember, these are just short terms. And if anyone wants me to do like a live stream on multiple cryptos and showing different price entry points for different cryptos, I can do a whole overall live stream for different cryptos. And I did that with Baby Doge, but I can do it for any crypto. And then you can just let me know which ones you want to know the price entries and price exits at. And I'll pretty much do a live stream for it. But remember, I'm not a financial advisor. That is financial advice. But right now, it probably would be a good time to get in if you're just doing short-term trades. Now, VTOR, VChain Thor, all together, it's a pretty solid project with uh, utilities. So we're going to be going over this. And there's a lot going on with it. So we're going to be going over way more than just technicals. So a lot of people have been impatient here, though. A lot of people have been saying, you know, they, they just have been making announcement after announcement, but nothing has been coming out. Nothing has been releasing. A lot of people are getting impatient with VThor. I will say that. VChain Thor, a lot of people are getting really impatient here. So if the devs are watching this, people are really getting impatient. A lot of people are selling out. And it's definitely not a dead project, but a lot of people are kind of taking a step back. So I want to show a few different things that they have coming out. So it's up to you whether you think it's a, a good play or not. But I definitely believe it is a good play. So 24-hour market control is in control by the bears by 60%. But like I said, we're going to have this recovery back here probably before we go down to another low. But looking at the – let's look, let's go ahead and back out here a little bit. Let's go over to the 4-hour chart. When you look at the 4-hour chart, you can see that it pretty much looks like almost every crypto that has pumped – and then had a pullback because the altcoin season is coming up very soon. And when altcoin season comes, every single crypto that's an altcoin tends to pump. Even the ones that aren't legit projects, they tend to pump. And what you're seeing here with these red areas are less demand areas. This is the vital algo indicators. So it's pretty much showing this whole area here at one cent, less demand. This whole area here, yeah, that was at one six. This whole area here for one two, way less demand. This whole area here, for 009, less demand, and even less demand over here for 0604. So right now, we're kind of inside of a more demand area. The reason why I'm showing this is because VTOR, v, well, this is VTOR, not VChain right now, but VChain, I'll show you that next. But right now, you can see that VChain is actually inside of an area of higher demand. So it's going to be a little bit harder for VChain to fall down like way lower. So if it adds another zero, it's not going to go much lower below that because it's already at such a low price right now. So pretty much what I'm showing here, you see these green areas here. It's pretty much showing that we have more demand for VTOR way down here. So even if we broke this area here, we're having a lot of trouble, like really hard time staying above this area, really hard times pretty much staying above 
three zero area. And what I mean by that is zero zero three. So we're having a hard time staying above that. But the next area of support for VTOR would be way down here at about the one area. So let's just pretty much, and that's major support because remember, we're looking at the long term four hour chart. But let's just hypothetically say that we had some good stuff coming inside the markets. You know, no more of the uh, war was going on inside the Russia and Ukraine. None of that was going on. Then we'd probably see all altcoins start to pump, all cryptos really, and altcoin season would come into effect. But until then, you're probably going to see everything pretty much down. And VeChain is pretty much the same analysis from here with a 15M chart. You can see that we're slowly trending down here to the 4.5 area of VTOR or VeChain. So we're slowly trending down here. And when it hits the green area, that's more demand. So when we hit the more demand area, we're more than likely going to try to trend back up here. And then we're going to trade between this channel. More than likely going to break below the channel after trading between it for a little bit. Because like I said, there's a lot of FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the market. And there's just a lot of people selling out in overall all cryptos. Not just this, like everyone's selling out everywhere. Everything's going crazy. We see $20,000 Bitcoin, then you can probably see a one cent V chain. So that's why I'm like showing stuff like this because it's possible for anything to happen. And let's just look at the four hour chart. When you look at V chain on the four hour chart and you look at the more and less demand areas, just let's wait for this to load up. But the vital output indicators are pretty much almost instant. But you can see same thing with uh, V chain that happened with VTOR with the long term charts. So you can see. 12 cents, we have way less demand all the way here from 12 cents. There's not really much demand, so it's going to be really hard for VeChain at the moment to break past these levels anywhere up there. It's going to be very hard. Now, yes, VeChain could try to pump back up here like we did way back here inside the 6th of February. We actually started the pump here because we are at a green area of more demand. Like I said, the second we hit the green areas of more demand, we start the pump. So then when we hit that, we start to pump. But then the second we hit the red areas of less demand, we start to go down. So then we traded between this channel before breaking below it. That's why I mentioned over here with VThor that we could break below that channel. So moving back over here to the four hour chart, like I said, we could trade sideways between that channel. But then afterwards, you'll probably see it break below it. So then what I mean by that channel here is this channel. So let me put this auto back on so you can see that and then take it off. So then it makes it a little bit bigger. But like I said, this channel right here is going to trade trade between here. And it already did and it broke below it. So now next it trades between this channel of three and one zero. And whatever happens after that is pretty much what happens with Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes to 20K, 25K, 30K, you're going to see us go down to like one cents here or zero zero one. But yeah, anyways, the same thing pretty much goes here for VeChain. They're like the same thing, VeChain Thor. But let's get all the technicals. I know a lot of people probably don't want to hear about technicals with this because they're just looking at the price right now. They're just like, oh, my gosh, 93% down for the all-time high from the all-time high, which is a buying opportunity, in my personal opinion. And for the whole year, you know, v VThor has been down for the whole year, pretty much. And a lot of people are very upset about that because they probably invested into it right up here at the peak. But there's... Almost everything that you look at is going to look the exact same. Obviously, when you go to Bitcoin, it's not going to 100% look like that. All right, that's the max. But, you know, Bitcoin is kind of the same thing, though. Like a year ago, it was at 60K. And now it's at 38K. Everything is pretty much down for the year of 2021 to 2022. We had the pumps in between the year. But ultimately, everything is looking down. It's not just VeChain. It's not just VeChain Thor. Everything is lower than where it was at the start of the year, other than Ethereum. Ethereum is higher than what it started at. And I think Binance Coin may actually be a little bit higher than what it started at at the beginning of the year. But for the most part, everything is near the same. And like v VThor is not even really that far below where it was at the start of the year, which was 0044. Right now, we're at 0031. So it, it could be a buying opportunity, but we're going to talk about some of the fundamentals going on inside here. So VUSD, that is going to be the stable coin. They said that it hasn't been launched yet. As you can see over here, with the launch of VUSD getting closer, this will be a great page to keep bookmarked as we begin our launch. So you can see it right now. It says, you know, 12 holders because obviously it's not there yet. But the first stable coin of the VeChain Thor block blockchain every VOSD is backed by a physical reserve of fiat money making it redeemable at any time so regulated and physically backed stablecoin so that's a pretty big statement there and obviously there is still inside the works of it they're still working on it so i don't know exactly when it'll be 100 percent for the go so there's a there's a lot that could go on with this but we just kind of gotta wait we gotta wait you don't know how long this stuff could take 
maybe it could take years, not not years, you know, it's already been taking some time, but make it, maybe it can take months or a year. But anyways, this person over here, Tim says, please just wait till after all the Russian FUD or price will not move a single bit. I mean, it is a stable coin, so it, the price isn't meant to move. So, but I, I understand because this stable coin releasing would help V Chain and V Thor's price go up. So yeah, I definitely think every single crypto project out there should wait to start releasing stuff until after this whole thing goes and blows over. Because if they don't, then they're, they're definitely going to lose out on a lot of good profits. But anyways, a lot of people are selling. But that's this person over here. Shout out to this person. They said you guys need to sort your act out. Everyone is selling as there's no confidence in you. 86% down since April. So a lot of people are losing their hope inside of VeChain Thor. So if the if the devs are watching this, they need to step it up. But you can't blame them right now because all the FUD, the fear and turns and doubt. No one wants to release a major utility, a major project like this when everything is just in the red. Like you don't want to do that. It's just not good for business. So they're really waiting probably. And I know they've been waiting before this, but still, this is this is a big deal. You don't just release your stable coin or anything any kind of utility or project like while everything is bad like while there's fear uncertainty and doubt in the market you don't want to do that it's just not a good idea but anyways this is definitely going to be really big for v chain thor and over here you see the v chain stats they got the vcs 2.0 full launch they got the website translations they pretty much got all the good stuff for the v chain stats site so they're going to be doing a lot of different upgrades to it premium features VCS governance tokens, VCS will launch a governance token to better serve the needs of the community. So the roadmap, they're pretty much saying this is the day 11 of the roadmap. They're going to have all this stuff that they're coming out with. So they have a lot of stuff in the makings and a lot of stuff that has already came out. So you just got to be patient. You cannot be impatient inside crypto. It's just not how things work here. You just won't get anything done if you're being impatient in crypto. But I definitely believe there is some potential here with v chain thor so anyways over here you can see introducing v carbon a revolutionary blockchain powered carbon accounting saas platform so built on the v chain thor blockchain v carbon will help govs and enterprises achieve carbon neutrality neutrality so emissions targets and sustainability goals so they're pretty much trying to make a whole green world a whole green globe this is definitely good this is definitely some good that they're doing and I think if this happens, maybe it'll change people's opinions because there's a lot of people that are just heavily imp uh, imp ah, opinionated on this. And they're just like, the things are just taking too long and they're not really liking how it's going on here. But yeah, I definitely believe there's still potential here. So yeah, B-Carbon, this is going to be huge for VeChain Thor. So anyways, this is pretty much all I got for VeChain Thor. If you ask me personally, I think people just need to kind of wait before criticizing and judging any crypto until after this whole thing with Russia and Ukraine blows over, until after even some of the COVID stuff, because it's still going on. Like all this stuff is still going on. We kind of got to wait till things calm down in the market. And I know it seems like things won't calm down for years, and it could be possible that that doesn't that, that happens like that. But we know crypto is just heavily volatile. We could have a huge altcoin season just out of nowhere while all this is happening. Or even after all this has happened, we could have a huge altcoin season. And that's what I'm waiting for. That's what a lot of other people are waiting for. So I, I would just say sit back and ride the roller coaster because this is going to be a crazy ride for everything. But yeah, anyways, this is pretty much all I got for you all today. Definitely shout out to Alias for actually um, recommending this. And if you all want to join the membership side of the channel, definitely join that. And anything you want me to go over, I'll go over it for you. And it'll it'll be like the first thing that i do because i'm going to be going over all of the ones for the memberships first and then the people that just uh leave comments and tell me to go over things eventually i can get to those but like i said work full-time job and that's like literally 120 hours a week of my time and like i don't have that much time to make videos that's why i do like one baby dose video a day but i can make videos for the members that are members of the channel so anyways, hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also definitely join the members. And also, if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the Vital Algo link in the description. And use the discount, discount code Marcellus 
for 100% or not 100% <laughs> for 25% off. See, I'm getting tongue twisted everywhere for 25% off. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. As always, I'll be back with another video. Peace.